How does traveling change across the globe for black people? How does access to capital improve for blacks? What are the long-term bad consequences for black people across the world because of BLM? I mean, the long-term consequences are primarily, primarily in the Western world. I don't think, I think people in Africa don't take BLM uh, and, and it, doesn't, it doesn't affect them. Um, I think there are all kinds of negative consequences of BLM. First, um, it's too many blacks view themselves as victims and then don't then do the necessary things to make their lives better. Don't take of the advantage of the opportunities that they have in life because they are perceived as victims. They are told that they need to wait until somebody helps them out, which is the exact opposite message. You should be communicating to the black community and to, in black culture. Of course, if BLM wins and we get a rabid leftist, crazy, nutty, postmodern Marxist world, then we all suffer. We all become poor. Uh, but look, I don't, think, I don't think anybody should discriminate against somebody black because of BLM. If I'm a venture capitalist and somebody walks into my office asking for money, I don't care about the color of their skin. I only care about whether their idea is good or not and whether they have the character to execute on it. So I don't think it changes much because I think that the rational people stay rational. And watch, you know, and again, it's only people who internalize the victimhood that are real victims. How will this woke nuttiness affect the military? It's already affected the military. I mean, you think the woke nuttiness is new, but it's already affected the military. Uh, it's affected the military in the just war attitude, in rules of engagement. It affected the military under George Bush, sending kids into Iraq with their hands tied behind their back. They couldn't shoot unless, uh, under all kinds of conditions. Hundreds of kids died for no reason because of altruistic culture. Woke is just the latest version of it. It's affected it by, you know, putting women into combat. I don't believe women should be in combat for a variety of reasons. And it'll continue to affect it. It'll continue to affect it in a variety of different ways. Military will soften, will soften. Because the left is soft and the right doesn't know what the alternative is. And therefore gives in to the left on everything. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair cynicism and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. Using the super chat, and I noticed yesterday when I appealed for uh, support for the show, many of you stepped forward and actually uh, supported the show for the first time, so I'll do it again. Maybe we'll get some more today. Um, if you like what you're hearing, if you appreciate what I'm doing, then I appreciate your support. Uh, those of you who don't yet support the show, please take this opportunity. Go to yourownbookshow.com slash support or go to subscribestar.com, your own book show, and, um, and, and make a kind of a monthly contribution uh, to, keep this, uh, to keep this going. I'm not sure when the next...